going on guys here, flying 2 caps here, bringing us another video here today, bringing you guys my most highly anticipated and my most popular actually, series of my channel, the NBA 2K15 My Team Player Reviews, um, you know, we did some My Team Player Reviews in 2K14, those went over so well, um, but what happened was 2K14 kind of messed up my team and stuff, and I couldn't log on, and there was a couple ways to do it, but I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to wait till um, 2K15, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, you know, I talked to you guys about it. Um, you know, whenever I've mentioned videos of a series ideas that I've asked you guys, you guys have always said, I want you, guys, I want you to do some more 2K. I want you to do some more 2K15. So I decided that I'm going to listen to you for once. No, I, I listen to you guys. but And I decided that we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, basically, what this series is for, if you guys are new, it's to either make you just an overall better my team player, get you a better understanding of the player that I'm reviewing at the time. Um, these aren't going to be like normal players. These aren't, they're not going to be like LeBron James's, Carmelo Anthony's, Dwight Howard's, the Chris Pauls, and such. Because you guys basically know everything about them. Um, you know their strengths, their weaknesses, and I'm here to give you guys um, basically just an overview of a player that you're not really familiar with, whether that's a legend or like a bronze player or even a silver player. Um, you know this is mostly going to be for legends, but as of now, 2K15 has not put in legends at least I haven't gotten any impacts yet so um, yeah we're gonna basically get started with the player today we're gonna go over to this man um, as you guys can see some of the some of the players I do have and it is none other than mr. Shane Larkin now, I'm gonna give you guys some stats on him he is 511 he weighs 176 pounds age of 22 from Miami Florida he has played one season in the uh, in the NBA 2K or an NBA actually sorry and I'm gonna give you guys some stats about him and basically give you guys um, how he is in real life in a real game I mean not not in real life but in a real game situation um, his shot close is a 71 um, shot mid range is around a 72 his shot three is a 79 now this guy guys he has such an easy release to get a hold of I mean I literally get green shot releases with him all the time um, he's actually in my starting lineup. And I have all silver players in like my whole team, and I have plenty of silver players to uh, that I could put in place of him. But he's just so good in this game, guys. I'm gonna loss for words right now. I can't even talk. But um, he's just so good, guys. And trust me, if you guys get him in a pack, make sure to use him or at least give him a try. Um, as you guys can see, though, some of his stats are gonna be a little bit behind. Obviously, his position average is a point guard, so um, you know they're gonna have a lot better shots. He is a bronze player, so take that. Um, you know with kind of like a grain of salt for instance, but you know in my team you're gonna start off slow So you got to kind of get used to uh, to stuff like that. So his moving shot range is a 69 moving shot 3 is a 79 also Shot IQ is a little bit low. I have to agree on that in a sense um, You know he's uh, his, his is a 63 and the position average is a 76 um, Not a bad free throw. I, I, it's only a 64 in games. He has one of the easiest releases um, for free throws on my team anyway um, You know I have a couple good players that are good at free throws and I always sub him in if uh, you know I need to get fouled or I have to if I'm getting fouled and I need to put him in um, you know, he's always there. So he's really good actually at free throws. I think his free throw should be higher just because how easy the release is. Um, but yeah, his layups are pretty good. Um, standing dunk, 25, really good. No, I'm joking. But, uh, you know, dunks obviously not going to be very high. He has very good ball control at an 84. His position average is a 90, but, you know, who really cares about that, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> um, passing vision, a 68. I wish that was a little bit higher. I think it should be a little bit higher. Um, you know, that's all right. Passing IQ is 76. Um, he has 72 hands. Um, post hook, those don't really matter. Defensive rebounds, offensive re rebounds don't really don't really matter a whole lot. His on ball defense is at or IQ, I, mean, I should say, is at a 59. Um, you know, steals at a 65. You know, th these are just a bunch of different stats. Um, you know, he has really good speed at a 93. His quickness is at a 95. Both of those are two points and three points ahead of the position average. He has a vertical of 95 absolutely insane so basically what I use him for in my team is to basically just get open and take easy shots he's really good like I said at getting open shots and just making them every time um, I think for my team he shoots around 60 65 percent which is crazy and um, you know he's really good at just getting on the floor he can go down make layups he's like I said he has a pretty good pass so he'll get down the floor wait for like my point guard for instance is Brandon Jennings he'd get down the floor and wait for Brandon Jennings and just give the pass off to Brandon Jennings and let him finish um, or Brandon Jennings can pass it back out to, to Shane and make a nice three um, you know, so he works really well that way. He also has 99 stamina. Like, come on now. That's literally insane. He could play the whole game, and you basically don't have to sub him out. He's just like a little ball of energy, to to be quite honest with you. Um, so, you know, he's really good. I absolutely recommend 
um, him for you guys. I can show you guys my starting lineup right here is Brennan Jennings, Shane Larkin, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Serge Ibaka, and Chris Bosh at the moment. Um, we've played, I think, what, 11 domination games? Yeah, we've got 33 stars, third of the way through domination. He's been um, he was my point guard for a long time, and whenever I got Brennan Jennings, I moved him to shooting guard. Um, he's always been on my starting lineup, never took him off. If you guys do get Shane Larkin in a pack, give him a try. I promise you won't be disappointed. Um, so yeah, that has been my first player review of NBA 2K15. Mr. Shane Larkin, a great player. He does play for the Knicks currently, was on Dallas. He only averages like two points per game. But at least in this game, he will, I promise you guys, he will average way more than that and possibly can help your team out um, in the long run. Because, uh, you know, bronze, starting off with all bronze players isn't the easiest thing. And I've seen a lot of people personally get Shane Larkin in packs before. I've been watching some pack stuff and watching people start off in 2K15, you know, with the My Team series. And everyone doesn't really use him. You know, they see that he's only ranked, what, what's he ranked? Let me see here. What's he actually ranked? I'm not actually sure. A 72 overall, not terrible. But, um, you know, he really does... He, I think he plays like a 78, to be quite honest with you. Um, so, guys, make sure to give Shane Larkin a try. Thank you guys once again so, more, so much for watching this video. I'm back, guys. I'm bringing you guys some more 2K15. Make sure to look out for more 2K15, my player reviews. And, uh, yeah, make sure to click on my links down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.